like to make a toast to you've been getting attention all night. <laughs> I know, because the longhorns are awesome. But here, here's a, here's a toast to you. Here's to women, they're nice and neat. They make things stand that have no feet. All right, let's get down to business, damn it. I am the angry Texan. I'm not the happy Texan, obviously, because the Dallas Cowboys fucking suck. And what's one thing I want to go ahead and, and, and teach you folks about is if you're pissed off, the last place you want to fucking go is Walmart. And the reason being, it's not because the nice old people that say hi to you when you come in the door. It's not all the smiley faces and the rollback prices during a bad economy, no. It's the 30 fucking checkout lanes and only two of them are open. <laughs> One is the tobacco line, the other is the express lane. And guess what? No one has less than 10 items in the express lane. I've got white trash in front of me. Obesity on mobile scooters. More white trash. I got Shaniqua, is she on her cell phone? Is she talking out loud and looking around? I don't know if she's talking to me or somebody else, but fuck her. <laughs> and then I got some skanky, skinny, filthy, white trash mom in front of me and her snot-nosed, snotty, slobber-mouthed little bastard kid who's got his hand in his mouth and with the saliva and the snot mix is stringing to everything and he's touching everything in sight. Gee. I guess I'm not going to get that 88-cent Powerade. The door handle looks like Kim Kardashian did a naked pole dance. Yeah, ooh, yeah, exactly. It's July in Florida. Think about how pissed I am. So then finally I get up to the check checkout counter, and here comes the lady. She's putting all my shit in this... Plastic bags on a triangle. I call it the Bermuda Triangle of plastic bags. Because shit goes in, and I don't know if I'm going to be leaving the store with it. Because every time I grab my bags, I say goodbye, everybody, and I start to walk out. It's usually right then I see a nice hot chick. The only one you'll ever see at Walmart. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? And then all of a sudden I see, sir, sir, you forgot your preparation H and just for men. <laughs> Speaking of pissing me off, uh, how many guys in here hate drunk chicks? <laughs> Alright, maybe after I explain this, you might like that statement. Drunk chicks aren't the same as they used to be back in my day. I'm 35. Drunk chicks, when you heard there was a drunk chick at a party, you wanted to go there immediately because you might get action. Now it's all the bullshit I have to put up with to get the action through the drunk chick. Number one. A drunk chick that comes up and talks to you about reality TV shows in a bar is stupid. <laughs> it's just like having sex with a porcupine. You don't know how you got in this predicament, but you're hoping for a positive outcome. <laughs> and then you got the drunk chick who's not over her boyfriend yet, and yet you're still sitting there talking to her as she rants on in this tampon-infused rant. Guess what? You have a better chance of getting a date in a women's shelter wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> I know it's impossible to choke. But I am 35 and single. Uh, one of my recent breakups from a girlfriend was uh, over Xbox. No, seriously, this is becoming a big problem in America, folks. Uh, a lot of women are getting sick of guys playing Call of Duty. Listen, dumbasses, it's, there's a difference between Call of Duty and Call of Booty. All right, get them straight. So we're sitting there making out, and she looks on my bookshelf and she says, Oh my God, is that an Xbox? And I said, No, it's a $200 book stand, bitch. I said, why, is, why do you have such a problem with Xbox? She goes, I can't believe it. You're 35. Why are you playing video games? I said, You know what? I listen to music on my Xbox. It's still a video game. Well, I watch movies on it with Netflix. and that. It's still a video game. Hurry up and get the fuck out of here. I gotta defend the earth against the orcs in 20 minutes. <laughs> so then, she broke up with me. And now I have two Xboxes. <laughs> I didn't say you were gonna like it, I said it was gonna be the fucking truth. Alright, before I go, I'll tell you guys a quick one. Does anybody remember a few 
of a month ago about the guy in Miami, a guy's face eating off. Over bath salts, God damn it! Are you kidding me? How many people in here, and, and I know you for a fact, I can see on your face, you were the guy in college when you got too drunk, people got the marker out and wrote on you, right? <laughs> see, everybody in here knows that guy, or has been that person, or knows something about that person. Never in my life, what in the fuck is wrong with society? Never in my life have I ever woke up from a badass party and go, Oh, God, man, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck is my face? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Y'all been great. <laughs>